If the resurrection of Jesus happened, it validates everything Jesus taught, everything he lived for, everything he modeled. But there's more. If the resurrection happened to Jesus, it can also mean it can happen to us, to you. If true, nearly 2,000 years ago, the power of God was reflected in a single life with such a clear demonstration of might and energy that all of human history was forever changed, culminating in raising that life physically from the dead. And through the resurrection of Jesus, God demonstrated his ultimate power, because there is no greater power on earth than power over death, then the Bible says this, which is pretty radical. The very same power that raised Jesus from the dead is available for your life. Here are its words and the promise that goes with them. You need to understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead. The word for power used in that verse in the original Greek language was the Greek word dunamis, which is where we get our word dynamite. It's the same word used when referring to the power behind Jesus' miracles. And as we just read, the power that raised him from the dead, that's some power. And the Bible says that that power can be there for you. Now, now think about that. That means the power that resurrected Jesus can resurrect your life too. Not just after you die a physical death, but here, now. God can take your life, and no matter where you are or where you've been, he can bring you to life from any place you feel lifeless. He can give you whatever new beginning you need. Here's how the Bible puts it. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Beyond a new life, Christians believe that the resurrection of Jesus can give us the power we need to live the way God wants us to live. You know, we live in a day of self-help websites and seminars and apps and tech toys. Those resources, those experiences are good for telling us what we're supposed to do, but they can't give us the power to do it. The Bible promises an external power source claiming that the power to change our life can come to us from God. We don't have it within us to live the way we want to live, much less the way we are supposed to live. But the Bible says that the very same power that raised Jesus from the dead is available for your life. You may not be ready to have it or even believe it, but millions of Christians can testify to the fact that God's power has altered their lives. Marriages that seem beyond hope have been restored. Long Habitual destructive patterns of behavior have been broken. Finances have been straightened out. Difficulties on the job have been overcome. Parenting challenges have been met. The resurrection of Jesus matters because it reveals to us that the power of God is there to change our life. But even that's not the best of the so what when it comes to the resurrection of Jesus. In a letter to a group of Christians who had just chosen to put their trust in Jesus, the early Christian leader Paul reminded them of one more dynamic of the resurrection. He said, if all we get out of Christ is a little inspiration for a few short years, we're a pretty sorry lot. But the truth is, Christ has been raised up, the first in a long legacy of those who are going to leave the cemeteries. The Bible says that if there was no re resurrection, there's no hope for life after death. And if that's true, then life has no purpose, no meaning. Uh, Soren Kierkegaard once compared such a view to a, a smooth, flat stone that is thrown over the surface of a pond, and the stone dances and skims over the surface of the water until that moment comes when, like life without hope beyond death, it runs out of momentum and sinks into nothingness. In a similar vein, Samuel Beckett once put forth a play called Breath. The curtain opens to a stage littered with nothing but garbage, and the soundtrack begins starting with a baby's first cry and ending with an old man's last dying gasp, and then the curtain closes. Beckett's point was clear. Life is absurd. Man is meaningless. Existence is pointless. But Christianity maintains that the resurrection did happen. And the Bible says that because Jesus was raised from the dead, we've been given a brand new life and have everything to live for, including a future in heaven. And that means hope. But that hope involves embracing a message, a message unlike any ever given.